Hey, what's up everyone? DJ Sturf here with another walkthrough. So this is kind of the second half of one major sequence here in Cosmic Freeway. And let me actually get rid of one item here and actually two items and three items. And that'll reset for this scenario. All right, so if I start a level, then go back out, I've deleted the pizza. And I've deleted the red key, and I've deleted the communication on level six. Level six is the secret boss. And uh, first I wanna show you what we're striving for here, all right? Um, there are three ways to get to this area that I, at least I've, I've found. Um, fairly reliable to get to on two ways and difficult to get to on another, all right? So here's way number one, all right? Go to hub two right here. And here, instead of going to this teleporter, just drop here and you're there. All right, so in the previous video, oh, well, the bear's gonna destroy that thing. So I'm gonna turn this way, all right? So that giant Chica robot statue right there kind of looks like a gargoyle or whatever. It sits there and you can shoot that and it'll be gone. But then you have a red laser to worry about, all right? So in the previous video, we took care of the giant Chica robot, and now we have to worry about this red laser. Hmm. So we could get rid of a red laser. Hmm. I was thinking maybe it could be in this level, but it's actually not. So if you go back out, because if you touch that laser, you die. Um, if you're invincible and you touch that laser, you still die. <laughs> it's just it, it's a barrier that prevents you from getting that gold pizza. Interestingly as well, if you touch the gold pizza, even still alive with the laser still there, you don't get credit for the pizza. I've tried. All right, so um, here we go. Lunar Mines, um, there is a secret boss. You may know <laughs> know this one. Um, it's the S. Cotton boss, AKA Sock Cotton. And of course, a play on Scott Cotton, the developer of this game. All right. So Lunar Mines, I'm just gonna go this route right here. It's a tiny bit quicker usually. All right. And the music is gonna restart, which I think is silly. <laughs> All right. Rain down, Cookie Crisp. Shoot all the random enemies, Fred, Freddy, uh, Freddy Airplane, Bear Plane. Here we go. Going to the final boss. That was that was interesting. Almost like a uh, slide cancel on that one. We have a half half frame, half button press. <laughs> slide cancel. All right, still going. Nothing outlasts the Energizer Foxy. He keeps <laughs> flame throwing and flame throwing. It's almost like a bad forum disagreement. Alright, so we're gonna go to the very end of this level. You can be any character for this, you don't have to be Foxy. But Foxy is so much fun to uh, play as, it's no disadvantage to using Foxy here. But I will swap so I show you that you can use any character to get to this secret boss. Alright. Alright, Freddy. Show him what's up. Yeah, come on. Show him a little bit more. Yeah! Alright, go outside of this gate. You don't have to have it open all the way. And just jump. Come in, Make Fast Squad. Okay. This is Fred Bear at Fast Command. Where did you go? You dropped off our radar. We're losing your signal fast. Be careful in there. We don't know what you're up against. Fred Bear out. Alright, that only plays the first time you get to that level, so I wanted to play that. There's nothing over here, of course. Green, eerie world with some ambient, eclectic, ephemeral-ish music, I don't know. But nowhere you can go to over here, except here. All right, another note on that gate right there. You just have to go outside the gate and jump. Um, one thing to note as well, if you jump too close to the door, the door will pull you back in. You don't have to get the door all the way up but you can if you want um but yeah it's just about about here ish 
in parallel. You want to jump. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, let's fight the boss. If you have Amoeba Shot, you are in good shape. All right. Man. Rough day. And now you're going to get a red key. I wonder what the red key is for. <laughs> I wish it made a laser noise, you know? Because <laughs> it would prompt you to think, oh, that gets rid of the laser. So there's a variable that's stored in your save file that is carried over to this level, and it's, it's like, hey, you have this now, so no laser will be there. All right, let me show you the other ways to get to this area. All right, so again, um, you could go this route and then all that. What I showed you the first time, another one right here. You can just duck down here and fall over here. So it's, it's basically the same thing. But you note that um, the red laser has gone. Let's see if um, Bear Plane can get rid. Yep. <laughs> Man, I don't know. Bear Plane's spoiling stuff for me. All right. Um, let me show you the other route as well. And this one, I usually go as Puppet to do this but it's kind of a funny little skip. I don't think you were supposed to do it this way, but you can do it this way. And let's see. We're going to go that same route, actually. All right, here we go. And same drop area here. Go here. All right. Now I'm going to swap to Puppet just to show you what I'm going to do. Um, see this block right here just about one one movement into that block I'm gonna jump okay it's like a probably one or two frame jump whatever all right here we go Ooh wee! I did it all right then you could do this so it's three different there's three different ways to do that um, and then when you get the golden pizza you don't have to be golden Freddy you can be anyone Chica pick it up for me Woo! interesting you you shoot a black hole and the music stops so your celebration is cut short by the black hole noise. But, um, yeah, you get 100,000 points for doing that, and then that's it. So that's um, that's the gold pizza. That's the secret boss. The secret boss didn't always look that way. Um, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll show a quick clip of what it used to look like. Just kind of a placeholder image because... You know, early on in game development, you just put a placeholder, you give things pet nicknames, that type of thing. They don't always stick as the final version of what things are going to be named or how they look, but yeah, that's just part of development. So yeah, all right, that's it. So thanks for watching, everyone. That's how to get the gold pizza. Also, if you go out here, you see the gold pizza again. And then if you start the level, since I have the special attacker, the uh, bear plane from this level, and I have the scepter, which is another 10,000. So 25,000 plus 10,000, and then 100,000 for the gold pizza. All right, so I started the level with 135,000. I don't have to get all that stuff again, but then I can add on by getting gems and that type of thing, all right? So I got some gems. Got two 2,000 gems worth, so 20 green gems. That's about it. Um, I did make a program for quick debugging of gem identification and all that. Uh, I think I called it Gem Adder. Yeah, gem adder, and then I would just, I would just go through, and uh, whenever, whenever I got a blue gem or a string of blue gems, like I would just log it, and then I would send Scott the logs of all the gems, and uh, what what that all was doing. So, um, anyway, uh, random factoid. All right, I'll probably put a clip here because I did clear it with Scott, and um, here, see here, here's what the boss used to look like on the first build that I got. All right, um, this was about. Uh, the build I got about nine days before this stream. He asked me about two weeks before the stream to uh, you know, if I would test it, and then I got the build about I think it was nine days before the stream. I'm pretty sure on that. So anyway, this is how it looks, and uh, yeah, I'll sign off on that clip. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, what's up, everyone? All right, so going back to Lunar Mines, I do have to use the keyboard controls here. So remember WSD. There we go. Good to go. Because the first build did not have joystick support. We'll still run as Foxy. Note the flamethrower is a different color. Same basic paths existed, so nothing changed on that. But anyway, yeah. Clear this part with Scott, so don't worry. Alright? 
Alright, going through the boss for no reason. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> I think the, uh... The pained eyes are a nice touch. Alright, Foxy. Precision jumps are a little bit clunky on the keyboard. Glad joystick support was added. Sense got a little tutorial on how to set up the basic click team stuff for joystick. I thought it was totally worth it. I agree. I, I totally agree on that. I just wish I could uh, throw in a custom mapping so it'd be a little more precise. Can set like dead zones and that type of thing, and you know, sensitivity, especially on the meteor rain, because on the joystick, meteor rain, um, man, it's really, it's really sensitive. Any up component on <laughs> the Y axis there is just, yeah, meteor rain time. All right, motoring through this, why not? Let's get a cupcake, pink one, even. All right. Let's go as GF. It's me, it's me, it's me. Let's go out here and jump. All right. Now, here's the initial placeholder image for this boss. <laughs> and initial placeholder name. <laughs> also, the, uh, the, the music wasn't all the way there yet. So this is the uh, just general boss music as well. Same message. Secret Boss X. You know, the S and the C are capitalized. This is a Amoeba shot. Alright. And then the hand-drawn red key. So placeholder for what would be just a fun little fun little thing. But um yeah. Placeholder graphics and all that. Alright, so anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Peace, God bless you, and have a great day. Um there was an intermediate image as well. So uh I'll leave you to search for that. But um yeah. Check it next time, and hopefully that helps you with the secret boss and the gold pizza. All right, peace. Our hero, Bef Daco. <laughs> Before the live stream, Scott wrote to us saying, hey, I finished the game. Fair warning, it takes five hours at least to beat. And that was five, five hours with DJ Sturf who is like the the unmentioned king of FNAF, quite honestly. Like mm -hmm. he is he's one of the greatest speedrunners at FNAF games in general. So like if you've never checked him out, he's incredible.